So, now that you've heard all this, do you feel more relaxed, more useful, more important, more proud? More useful? Yes. More important? Hmm, maybe. But I'm neither relaxed nor proud. Why not? I've understood difficult principles. I've understood the goal of biology. But I still can't understand the most important thing. And what's that? Why, since I started working here, has my wife been cheating on me? That's my basic problem. But I was ashamed to admit it. How do you know? Does she do anything to make you suspect that she's unfaithful? It's the kids, Doctor. It's the kids. What about your children? My kids don't resemble me. Not one of them looks like me. Is that all? Doctor, don't be cynical. <sighs> Listen to me carefully. The fact that your children don't look like you is the whole reason that you are working here. Why? What do you produce here? A type of mutant mouse cornuto? Don't be silly. What I mean is that I've had a hand in this. What are you saying? Aren't you ashamed to admit it? I'll kill you! Stop it. What I want to say is that the fact that your children don't look like you is a result of experiment. Everything happens under a microscope. I'll explain everything to you. And don't you worry at all. Your wife is innocent. And so am I. By definition, transgenic is an organism that is experimentally engineered to carry exogenous genetic information in its germline. Although initially several different methodologies, such as infecting pre-implantation embryos with recombinant retroviruses or nuclear transplantation strategies were used for the production of transgenic animals, it has now become clear that the most successful strategy to produce a transgenic animal is to micro-inject the foreign gene of interest into the pronucleus of a fertilized mouse oocyte. The resulting mouse is then found to carry these extra genes as stable chromosomal integrants, which are inherited in a Mendelian fashion through subsequent progeny. Most interestingly, these transgenes are found to be expressed at both the RNA and protein level, thus allowing us to study a variety of parameters reg regulating gene expression and gene function in the context of a whole living organism. In our laboratory, we're using the transgenic mouse technology to understand the biological function of a very important protein of the immune system. The tumor necrosis factor, or abbreviated TNF, which owes its name to its original discovery as a factor capable of killing tumor cells. Today, it has become evident that this name reflects only partially the numerous activities of this molecule. Fine-tuning of TNF production in the body after a microbial infection or a tissue injury has very important protective effects for the organism. However, continuous abnormally high production of TNF in the body induces deleterious effects ranging from cellular toxicity to cachexia or even shock and death. The development of human life-threatening disease such as cancer-associated cachexia, septic shock, graft versus host disease, and various autoimmune diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis, is closely associated with the deregulated production of TNF. To simulate this complex biology of TNF in an in vivo experimental system, we have engineered transgenic mice to abnormally express human TNF protein in their tissues, and in this way we have uncovered a very important role for this molecule in the pathogenesis of arthritis, a very common debilitating human disease. For example, transgenic mice that express abnormal levels of human TNF in their joints are found to predictably develop arthritis very similar to human arthritis. Without doubt, to understand and therefore cure disease in humans, such animal models of human disease are extremely useful, and transgenic technology is a unique tool towards this. Let's see now in detail how it is possible to produce transgenic mice. One of the most important features of successful microinjection 
is the quality of the pipettes used for egg holding and transfer. The pipette which is used to transfer the micro-injected eggs into the oviducts of a surrogate female is pulled by hand in a Bunsen flame. The internal diameter of the transfer pipette should be approximately 200 micrometers, which is wide enough to take up the eggs one by one in series without damaging them. the eggs during micro-injection is also pulled by hand from glass capillary tubing to a diameter of 100 micrometers. All manipulations of the fertilized eggs during the micro-injection procedure are carried out in two different culture media. M2 medium is a modification of the basic M16 medium, which contains HEPI's buffer for maintaining the pH when manipulating eggs outside the CO2 incubator. M16 is a bicarbonate buffered medium which is used for the long-term storage of eggs in the CO2 incubator.